Morning guys, uh, just want to go through uh, spark and, and rectification and uh, basically basic servicing methods of, of the two components, whether it be spark or whether it be rectification. Uh, let's go right back to the beginning, let's go back to the old thermocouple type. Um, we used to have boilers with pilot light assemblies. Um, and on the pilot light assembly we had the spark electrode and then we had the thermocouple where the flame touched the thermocouple and the millivolt signal back to the gas valve guys was about 12 to 18 millivolts if you'd ever tested that. Um, this is a thermocouple with a, an overheat interrupter and this went onto the heat exchanger. So if you can't get a pilot light to, to stay lit, it's always worth checking you've got continuity across this overheat stat because if this overheat stat is down, then it breaks that millivolt signal, okay? So basically, we obviously push the button down on the single solenoid gas valve, not double, on the single solenoid gas valve. The pilot light would spark through the ignition board. The flame would be onto the tip of the thermocouple, would create that signal and then basically it would allow the electromagnet inside the gas valve to keep the gas valve open. If that didn't occur, then as we say, we'll either a problem on the thermocouple or the electromagnet is down, or it could be, if it's one with an interrupter, it could be the interrupter that's broken. Okay, so that's, that, that, that's going back in time. And then as we come a little bit more into the up-to-date, we used to have the pilot light assembly with, let me put my gigs on so I can see. We used to have the pilot light assembly where it was, a, it, it basically it was, it, 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 it would electrically, in fact, no, let, let's not go there just now. Let's not just go there. Let's, let's, let's move on from that. So as we move on, we've got systems where we've got spark and rectification, okay? Very important guys when you're looking at the leads because this is a this is an industry standard when you're looking at the leads and you're not sure which is spark and which is rectification the one with the small spade end is always the spark and the one with the larger spade end is always the rectification okay and on this particular this is a skeleton of an old boiler in this particular we, we spark here and rectification takes place here so if you look at these electrodes it's always, in the MI, it tells you that you need a three mil gap between the burner and the tip of the electrode. Now, let's say if that was close to the burner like this one, then you could get a misfiring situation there, okay? So if you get a customer complaining about aggressive ignition with this type of system, always make sure that the gap is, is correct. And same with the rectification. That rectification probe is far too close to the burner. That will be hit and miss on rectification. You know, it's, 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 it's not rocket science, guys. So your MI will usually say about three mil. My, my, my golden rule there is imagine two pound coins stuck together. That's, that's, that's your distance, okay? And if they are too close, then it's going to create problems. So just remember that fact, guys, that the small spade end is your spark, the large spade end is your rectification. Right, let's, let's move on now up to the current day. And um, here we've got spark and here we've got rectification. Now, how do we know this is the spark? Because the spark will always have the earth. Obviously the spark is looking for ground, okay? So the spark is always the one with the earth. Now, I'll just plonk myself down on this table. There's five different manufacturers of spark and rectification. Well, there's only one rectification, but five different manufacturers of, 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 of spark electrodes here and I see on many occasions on the forums where guys are taking pictures of boilers with aggressive ignition and there'll be video in it and all the comments will come in from the guys saying blah 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 how bad this is well in fairness guys really it's down to incorrect service and maintenance because it's it's it, again it's not rocket science Part of your service procedure on a boiler that's got three, four years age on its back is to, is to check certainly the spark electrodes. Because on various types of boilers, on different types of boilers, I've seen where the, the spark and rectification electrodes have rotted. 
Now, they've usually rotted because there's too much CO. The boiler's burning too efficient, so the CO levels will be, be high. So the, the excessive moisture inside that heat exchanger will rot those, those electrodes and rectification probes. And I've seen in other boilers where the electrodes can part. Well, if the electrodes part in, then I wouldn't be surprised if that boiler's suffering from, uh, if you like, uh, intermittent lockout due to the fact that the boiler is getting too hot so it'll be knocking off on the flue sensor protection on the boiler so when you see that where the electrodes start to part then it's worth checking that the boiler is not you know not burning too 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 hot okay get your analyzer on there bring it back make sure your fan speeds are okay basic servicing as per your MI right let, just let's have a look here now let's to make it easy I've gone for the continuity buzzer uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear exactly what I'm doing here well, these electrodes have been changed on boilers with some age on the back. And let, let's, let's look at this one, for instance. And if I do a continuity check here, at this point, there's nothing, okay? Hopefully you can see that, guys. There's nothing there at all. And same here. No continuity, okay? If I go lower down the electrode, If I go lower down the electrode, continuity. If I go here, I've got continuity. Let's look at another one of a different type. No continuity. If I go right down at the bottom, continuity. Okay. Let's look at another one. Continuity. That's fine. Look at this one. No continuity. Let's go at this side. Continuity. And basically there, guys, not teaching you to suck eggs, but this is a build-up of carbon. Now, there's approximately 10,000 volts generated for that spark. The current is very low, but the voltage is very high. And yes, in 99.9% .9 of circumstances, that such terrific voltage will penetrate that carbon. But at the end of the day, if that carbon is allowed to build up and build up, what you can find is, instead of it sparking across the tip here, it will look for an easier life. And the easier life is to move on to where there's no carbon. And if it's not addressed and serviced correctly, this electro, this spark electrode, then it, it drops down and drops down and it gets to the point where it can be sparking here. If for any reason the graphite seal here is not quite up to scratch, worst case scenario, and this is worst case scenario guys, this is, this is extreme, but worst case scenario, it can look for the earth outside and it'll spark on the earth outside. Now, if that happens, then obviously you're going to get aggressive ignition. It's not the boiler's problem, it's, it's lack of servicing and maintenance guys. It's not, you know, it's not down to the, it's, it's down to you guys to make sure that these are done. Now, to service these, it, it's dead simple. You could rub all week long with steel wool, <coughs> excuse me, and you would not clean that carbon off. You just wouldn't do it. Now, I've seen many of your gas man's file that you carry. You could ride bare ass to London with the file. Now, get yourself a meaty file, and dead simple. Year three, year four, just give the electrodes a good file, okay? And your rectification. Give them a good file, it's as good as new. No need to replace it. Make sure your seals are okay. Good file, good as new. Everything's back to, back to normal. So if you do get that problem, or if you do hear of aggressive ignition, then that's your solution, guys, okay? And build that, in, if you're not already doing that in your service, do it, you know, it, 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 it's part of the service, okay? Right, guys, I'll, I'm, I'm signing off now. I'm, I'm back online now with the, the videos, and, and if there's anything I can do to help, just, just, just let me know. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for your time. Bye.